But we begin with Erin McPherson. She's in the area where that manhunt came to an end. So Erin, what can you tell us? Well, I'm alive right here on Route 418 near Smithsburg, where that crash happened, where that manhunt ended. I'm actually right over the Pennsylvania line. So Pennsylvania State Troopers tell us that they tried to stop the vehicle, but then once that car went into Maryland, that's when the car veered off of the road and crashed. Now troopers tell us they immediately surrounded the car and attempted to make contact with anyone inside. When that didn't work, they called the crisis negotiation team, but they had no luck either. Investigators tell us there was a thick layer of smoke inside the vehicle, so when they couldn't make contact, they broke the passenger side window, which no one was in, and that's when they found all four people inside with a with gunshot wounds. Now, Robert Vacosa, the former Baltimore County police officer, and his two daughters, seven-year-old Gianna Vacosa and her six-year-old sister Amina, were found in the back seat of that car. One of the girls was rushed to the hospital where she later died. Vacosa, the other child, and the driver, police sergeant Tia Bynum were all pronounced dead on scene. Now Bynum was suspended from the Baltimore County Police Department when they learned about her connection to this case. And as of right now, investigators are still determining who exactly pulled the trigger and fired those shots, but they are calling it a murder-suicide. For now, we're live. Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.